What's up everybody, welcome to We Do Tech. Now after some rumors and speculations, the new GTX 1070 Ti has just been released today. Now this is a card nobody really asked for and Nvidia just decided to bring it out. And we haven't ever seen a 70 range with a Ti. We've got the 1050 Ti and the 1080 Ti, but never a 70 Ti. So this is kind of a weird move from Nvidia. But they kind of just wanted to take out the RX Vega cards completely. So they decided to just bring in the 1070 Ti to compete with those and destroy them completely, um, put them out of the game. But now in the beginning, a lot of people, including me, did say that the 1070 Ti is going to be a, a waste Why on the video actually bringing it out. But the thing is, in the end, it is a card that it's a more options that you can actually choose from. So more options is always better, even though it's going to fall right in the middle between the 1070 and the 1080 in price range and performance. But now the question is, is it actually worth it to go for the 1070 Ti or should you just rather pay a bit less, get the 1070 or save up a tiny bit more and get the 1080? Well, that's what we're going to find out now today. But just before we get into all of the benchmarks, I just want to thank you Gigabyte for actually sending over the 1070, the 1070 Ti and the 1080 for this review. Without them, this would not be possible. So big thank you to them. So with that, let's get into the benchmarks because that's mostly what you guys are here for. You want to know how it actually competes against the other ones. So yeah, let's get into that now. Do you live in South Africa and want to get yourself some awesome new gaming products? Well, go check out Rebel Tech. They have extremely low prices and they stock all the major brands like Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, Corsair and many more. You're also able to get Destiny 2 when purchasing selected NVIDIA GTX 1080 or 1080 Ti graphics cards. So check out the link in the video description to go get yourself a new graphics card and a new game. So as you guys could see with the benchmarks, the 1070 Ti literally falls straight in the middle between the 1070 and the 1080 with performance. Now, it's not really that big of a difference between the three, so it's kind of hard to say which one is actually better. I know the 1070 was the best price perform uh, FPS per dollar card, but now the 1070 Ti isn't really that much more, so that kind of makes it a bit of a better buy in my opinion. But the decision is kind of just up to you in the end which card you would want to go for and how much money you actually have to spend. If you can spend a bit more than a 1070, you can go for the 1070 Ti or a bit more and the 1080. More is always better, but uh, that you can always say just go for the 1080 Ti. But the thing is, it's always nice to have more options. Now, if you're limited on the budget, you just have a bit more than uh, you can spend on the 1070, go for the 1070 Ti. It, the performance is just a tiny bit more and it's kind of just a tiny bit less than a 1080. So it's just always nice to have more options to choose the right component for the price and just build the system you can afford and you want. So that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, comment, comment. Hopefully it was 
kind of useful to you guys just to see where the 1070 Ti kind of falls. Is it worth it? Uh, if not, and just also a big thanks to Gigabyte for sending over the cards for this review. Without them again, this would not be possible. And if you're actually looking to get the new 1070 Ti for yourself, you can go check it out on Rebel Tech, which I will link in the video description. So you can just go check that out. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I will check all of you guys next time. Cheers guys.